everyone welcome back to the channel so today i have another package from double dip nails and i'm super excited to show you guys what's inside i um you know i did the first review and then they sent me this one and i did not know they were sending me another one so like thank you guys thank you to double dip for sending me another package i love the first one i'm sure I'm, I'm gonna love this one as well and i hope you guys love it too so inside you guys this is so freaking cute so cute like i did not want to open it i did not want to open it because i was like how am i gonna fold it back like i love the little heart how am i gonna fold it back so i had to open it though and i tried to fold it and it was a fail but that was such a cute little thing to see like when you open it up it's so cute so inside they sent me three new colors to try out for you guys and i am so excited it's two nudes in like a really really pretty green it's like a, a pastel green so i'm super excited for that and they also sent me one of the bingo cards okay so you guys remember i talked about the secret beauty circle in my first video well within that group and within all about that dip they're going to be doing a giveaway with this bingo so it's two thousand dollars worth of colors from double dip nails so all you have to do to enter is spend 15 to 49 dollars and that'll get you one card 50 to 99 dollars and that'll get you two cards between 100 and 149 dollars and that'll get you three cards and so on and so on so the more you spend the more cards you get so to purchase their powders you can go on doubledipstore.com and when you're purchasing if you want to save a little change use maria 15 and you save some money honey so on july 20th they're going to start so each day they're going to give out five names of the colors so if your card wins you message them and you also take a screenshot of your order the order you purchased and your bingo card and put it in the comment section under the group now make sure you use a light colored um marker to mark your card me i um mark my free space with a dark color because i would you know what i'm just that person oopsie daisy my bad i'm still gonna play but the rest of the colors if i get any i will mark them with a light color so that i can see it so you must be in double dip nails tips and tricks which is also called the secret beauty circle and you must be in all about that dip to be entered like if you win and you're not in both of those groups they're going to skip over you and go to the next person so make sure you're in both of the groups you guys i'm going to be in there i hope to see you guys in there so we're going to go ahead and get into the video the colors they sent me was dusty sand which is 558 and italian merengue which is 665 honey these are the two nude colors and then the green is 653 and it is called green charm and that green is everything you guys it's so freaking cute i love it i love it so i'm gonna swatch all of these colors for you guys first i'm gonna go in with step two which is the dip base and then i'm gonna go in well rewind when you're applying this apply it thin don't do thick coats of it like do thin but make sure you cover the whole nail surface but like do it thin you don't want to like cake it up with the dip base and then try to put the powder on it so do it thin and then you're going to dip your powder if you if you're doing short nails you should be able to do it in one dip but if you have a longer nail get you like a cuticle pusher that has like scoop action <laughs> <laughs> get you a cuticle pusher that has scoop action and like scoop the rest of the powder towards the back of the nail and then you're just going to tap it off a little bit you're not going to wipe or like swipe it with the um duster brush yet but you're going to wait a few seconds and then you're going to dust it off like i did so i cropped out the waiting because i don't want you guys just looking at the screen so but yeah wait like 30 seconds and then dust off the excess and you're going to go back in with the step two again and apply it thin and then you're going to apply another coat of powder if you're at a color like if it's covered enough for you you don't see any like see-through areas then you can go on wait a few seconds again dust off the excess and you can go in with the activator but if you want to apply another layer just do another thin coat add your powder wait a few seconds and dust it off so that is what i did um and then i i was trying to do it on the back too like another one but like it didn't work properly so i just did it the regular way so yeah but you're just gonna wait a little bit and look at this nude she cute 
she's freaking cute so now i'm just going in with the activator to harden it up so i can go back in and file and buff because after you add the activator you're gonna go in and like redefine your shape again just in case you lost it with adding the dip powder so you're just gonna file and then you're gonna buff it out and then you're gonna apply a top coat and with the activator i'm sure you don't need this many coats i just do i do a little bit of overkill just to make sure because i want to make sure everything is right and everything is hard where it's supposed to be so i apply it liberally like you probably don't need that much but i do it anyway and look at dusty sand dusty sand is fire okay like i probably use that one i don't know like i really want to use all of them though i'll see so i'm just going in with the green charm now doing the same thing applying a thin layer of base powder waiting a little bit dusting it off applying another thin layer of base powder waiting a little bit and dusting it off and then i'm applying the activator to make sure everything is right in all the right areas double dip nail system because it's fun it's quick it's easy like there is nothing more that I can ask for it is so simple and easy a whole bunch of fun colors this green I am in love with this green I did not go right back in after applying activator and start filing and buffing I wait a little bit so I'm gonna actually continue through the rest of the colors like now I'm doing my Italian merengue and then I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'm gonna go in and file and buff each of the swatches that I've created and I think it's a good idea to wait a little bit after applying the activator because you don't want to go back in filing and buffing and doing all this vigorous stuff to the nail that you just did and it's not ready for you to do that so and then you know you be done messed it up and you gotta go back in and apply dip and you're gonna be frustrated so just wait a little bit and then go back in and file it buff it and apply your top coat so this shade is italian merengue and i think she's pretty cute like i would do a whole set with this and maybe like i don't know either i would just leave it plain sometimes i like simple stuff like the simplicity of stuff is really pretty sometimes but then sometimes I want to be extra and I want to add some bling and all this other stuff. But I feel like I might do like a really plain, simple set with this. And like just a sharp, a sharp like tapered square with this. Oh honey. I might. I really might. I think I will. Oh my goodness. Ideas are flowing. So yeah, this is a really pretty color. Like really pretty.
Okay, so now after allowing all of the colors to sit and set for a little bit, I'm going in with a file to redefine the shade and take out any lumps if there were any. And then I'll be going in with a buffer block to kind of smooth out the surface and get rid of any scratches that I created from filing. So after smoothing out all the colors, I am going in with the dip top. And as you guys know, this top coat is not gel, but, but it still shines pretty well and it dries quicker than I thought it would originally. Like I thought it would take a minute to dry, but it dried up pretty quick. Like I was impressed. I really was impressed. So I do like this and I am a gel top coat kind of girl, but this double dip top, coat got me you know kind of rethinking so I will be using this from time to time um I'm not gonna put away my gel top coats <laughs> but I will be using this like I was impressed guys do not forget about the bingo game it starts today go enter go enter into both groups if you got a bingo card play you know you never know the odds could be in your favor honey you could win two thousand dollars worth of dipping colors like i know i wish i win like why wouldn't you want to win two thousand dollars worth of double dip nails like go enter get your cards I'll see y'all in there. And remember, the links to both groups will be in the description box. It is Double Dip Nails, Tips and Tricks, and all about that dip. In both groups, I will be giving out the names of five colors each day. So five colors until somebody gets bingo. Five. So you have five chances each day to get a color, honey. Like, that's a lot of chances. But just remember, don't be like me. <laughs> mark it with a light color marker. I just mark my free space with a dark one, but like the rest of them, I will use a light color marker to circle it um, so that they can see if, if you win, they can see the actual color name. So don't mark it with a dark color, mark it with something light, something light. But good luck to everybody who enters to win. But I'm going to go ahead and test out these colors for you guys and show you what I come up with. I'm going to be using Green Charm. Green Charm today, honey. So once again, if you're doing this on yourself or you're doing this on somebody else, before you go in with any enhancement, you are going to prep your nail. Unless you don't want your nail to stay on, which is what I did. But if you want your nail to stay on for the longest period of time possible, prep that nail, honey. Prep that nail that's doing cuticle work so when i say that that is pushing back your cuticle making sure there is no skin on the nail plate because if there's still skin left on there guess what it's gonna lift and it's gonna come off so and that's that's something you don't want because with lifting you can get water under there you can get greenies and you don't want that that is that's not cute you know we want to keep it cute so make sure there is no skin left on the nail plate before you start Make sure you remove the shine from your nail plate too, honey. So cuticle, make sure there's no skin. Remove the shine. Add your tip, however you choose to add your tip, either if it's base coat or if you use nail glue, add your tip. Blend your tip in. So when I say that, that's like when you fill over your nail, if you can feel a little ridge, blend it. Or some people don't blend um, 
I know if they say they're using color, they don't like to blend. But for me, I blend it anyway because that's me. I like to blend my tip in. So then you're going to dust off all the nail dust. And you can use um, Young Nail Swipe. Or I was watching Nail by Nikki B. And she uses like half acetone, half alcohol. That works too. Clean it off. You know, make sure there's nothing up there. And then if you choose, so you can go in with dehydrator. But either the Young Nail Swipe or the alcohol acetone mixture dehydrates it too. But I like to be extra. And I use dehydrator too because I got it. I purchased it. So I'm going to use it. I'm not going to let it sit there. So I'm going to put that on too. And then I'm going to go in with my primer or if you're using pH bond. Whichever one you're using, and then you're going to go in with whatever enhancement you are choosing to use. I know some people like to do base gel and then put, like, acrylic on top of the base gel. Whichever one, whichever one you choose, just make sure you prep your nail. Because you don't want your nails popping off. You don't want that. That's not fun. That's not cute. You know, we want to keep it cute. So, like, on my index finger and my pinky, I tried something different. Like, I don't know what I was trying to do, really. First, I was thinking, okay, you know what? We could do, like, some camo. But then I just decided, well, you're going to see what I decided. But I just want to do something different, like, and I just cover the whole nail or do, like, an ombre. So, it turned out it turned out pretty good. Like, I like the outcome. So, I'll probably try something different with this to see if, like, there's more things that I can achieve with it and um yeah and show you guys what you can achieve with it too so you know be artistic experiment you'll find new things and new ways to do things that you might not have thought of before but since you were thinking about being creative you know you done discovered something So I had like a couple of patches in this nail, so I'm just going back in and adding another coat because sometimes that will happen, like you get like see-through patches. So just go back in and add another coat to kind of, you know, get a full coverage look. So once you have achieved the coverage that you're looking for, you're going to go in with step three, which is the activator that is going to harden the nail. So then you can go in and file buff 
and continue on the process. So I'm just gonna apply activator to all of my nails and then I will let it sit for a second. And then I will go in with my file to redefine my shape and get everything looking right like I want it to. So now I am just going back in with Young Nails Cover Rosebud for my ombre and then I will be going in with clear to cap all of my nails. Um, encapsulating all your nails in clear will help you to not destroy your ombre or destroy any designs that you have. So let's say you do an ombre, you don't cap your nail, you go in and file, you're going to be taken away from that ombre. So you don't want that so cap your nail in clear so you don't mess up any designs that you have created on your nail so just cap it so just i know they say no cap but we're gonna cap today we're gonna cap today <laughs>
to go in with this gel top coat that I got off of AliExpress. I will have the link in the description box. Um, I actually purchased three different types. Um, I will be having a haul coming soon so you guys can see all three. But this is really cute. It's like a galaxy in a bottle. Like, I love it. But I'm just placing this in certain areas. Like, I'm not putting it all over the nail. The only one that has this fully all over the nail is the middle finger. But, like, I'm really putting it on the clear like the clear space on my index and my pinky finger to kind of you know give a little twinkle twinkle up in there and then i'm going to be going in well first i'm going to cure this in the lamp for like 60 seconds and i'm going to go in with some transfer foil and apply some foil on my nails and i'm gonna just let y'all watch and see because i don't want to give it away like i don't want to give it away
blind I know Jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feeling love will give us what we lack. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Yeah. And if it's not enough. I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store uh, I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights a year away like the seconds the beginning and the end uh, but if in time it's yesterday your picture's gonna bring it home to me again so once your top coat has dried you can go in with your cuticle oil and i am applying this directly to my skin on my fingers because this is just for me but if you were using it on somebody else or if you plan to use it on somebody else then I would suggest you use another brush that you can clean and not dip it back into the bottle because it's like cross contamination, honey. And you know, you want to try to keep it as clean as possible, as sanitary as possible. But since this is my personal, I will be using this on just myself. I applied it directly to my skin and I put it back in the bottle because it's my personal one. But if you're doing it on somebody else, like I said, keep it clean, keep it cute. finished look i hope you guys enjoyed once again i use green charm from double dip nails you can find their products on doubledipstore.com their instagram is double dip nails and i'll have the links to all of their social medias and their website in the description box so if you choose to purchase you can and if you want to use my code maria15 save you some coins but once again thank you guys for watching i hope you stay blessed and stay safe bye